Hello everybody and welcome, it's Az and Leo here bringing you our first official beta test gameplay of the battle mode. Now, last time we showed one of these, it was several months ago back in the old Paris yeah, office. Yeah, yeah, now we're shooting in, in, in the UK. And we've upgraded, we've got a nice studio, we've got a beautiful board, we've got the final components for yes. the game. Yes. We're playing with essentially what is coming in Wave 1 and accompanying Wave 1 will be the online battle mode rules along with all of the army lists for the armies you can build with the Wave 1 delivery. Now at the time of playing, we're still playing with an early version of the battle mode rules, but it will be a living document online. Yes. I f actually have a physical one here <laughs> to help keep us right for this because we've been doing a lot of different changes. The living document online will be at mythicgames.net, www.mythicgames.net. So please check that out if you're interested in when you're not playing with scenarios and you want to build your own armies and go head to head, you'll find it on the website. Now, Leo and I have done a few things already. Yes. We're going to kind of go through those so you guys have an idea at home how the battle mode kind of pre-game works. Absolutely, and yes. Then there are gonna... different steps. Yeah. Uh, and you follow them and then you're ready to play. Never felt more like a news reporter in my life. <laughs> um, so the first thing we chose is the battle type and our options were small battle, medium battle, large battle, essentially a skirmish is the small and we've chosen a 1500 points Which skirmish, is a skirmish battle. Yes. So it's the lightest of the battles you'll play. This defines the number of rounds which there will be five and it also defines the round cards which we have over on the board. So we have a two, a three, a four, a four and a five for our activation orders. We already uh you shuffle it again shuffle. if you like. If you want. Yeah. We also define the terrain size. This is 14 to 16 hexes. So we can see here is the board we will be battling over. Oh, I'm so excited. We also have characters per army for this size of battle. It's between 0 and 2. We've both selected 1, but we'll get into that in just a second. Well, actually, we'll get into it right now because the next step was to build our army list. Now, we took a little extra step because we agreed with each other that we wanted to have similar armies, so it felt really nice thematically. So we've agreed to play early 100-year war armies. Yes, yes. I'm rocking because the English. We, we yeah. wanted <laughs> characters that could have fought, yeah. uh, fight, fought uh, yeah. at that time, which is the case. Yeah. But if These you want, two armies yeah. could have fought in the Hundred Years' War. Yeah. If you want early, late, holy, unholy, you can mix and match it however you like. We've just done this for a bit of theme, a bit of fun. So I, it's worth talking a little bit about the armies briefly. Yes. I have John Chandos, English retaliation based mercenary. Quite One of the most uh, famous yeah. uh, leaders from the English armies at the time. Um, he is leading a very light force, focusing on two things. First of all, mobility. I've taken one unit of standard mounted knights, supported by three units of gentry mounted knights. That's which very French. Very French, but early period wars, a little yeah. different to the yeah. traditional yeah. armies you maybe Absolutely. expect. I've then taken a couple of units of bowmen. That is English. Can't resist it. And a couple of units of mounted bowmen. So I'm so really... Why, why mounted bowmen? Bit of flexibility because at the start we built our armies before we knew the um, the, everything that was going to happen so the objective and even the map so I wanted yeah. to give myself flexibility and I also left myself with some points not spending the full 1500 points and I'll tell you why in just a second because you can do things with that every game you play your army so my army is a French army of course uh, and I chose uh, to build it mainly on the character that I was gonna have so now to be honest Almost a third of my army points, 465, are, are just on the, 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 the character. Who and this he? character yeah. is Bertrand du Guesclin, the most famous uh, knight uh, from the early uh, war. Yeah. yeah, he's the, the, he's the, the Conan yeah. of that time, right? He's a yeah. monster, I mean, really. You're rocking is. five wounds, retaliation, you're rocking a bunch of stats. I'm on two wounds in Jan Chandos. Yeah, he's I, still very good. I know John uh, yeah. Chandos. I don't want to good. meet you in hand to hand combat. Yeah, so. you know, he, he, <laughs> yeah. He, and also, he comes back. You know, it's, he's very hard to kill. So, you will, we will see that into detail. Yeah. So, of course, I'm French, so I needed the mount. Yeah. Uh, knights, but I didn't focus too much on that. Mm -hmm. You know, you you play very French, and I play very English. In in that, <laughs> I have some uh, uh, distance. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, so yeah not the attacks, bowman, yeah. but the the French equivalent, which was the crossbowman. You then not as five units. Well, yes. four of one. Yeah, four of the Genoese one, which are Italian ones. So uh, they can. Uh, how would you say they can uh, entrench, yeah, get entrenched, entrenched with th that means uh, they are even more powerful but they can't move so yeah. if you move force them to move they're destroyed yeah. and I have like the traditional crossbowmen and then I have sergeant at arms uh, 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 yes two sergeants of at arms and one halberdiers 
all those have retaliation. Yeah. So in hand to, uh, hand to hand combat, they will be very tough. I, and very yeah, I'm not and keen. I'll be trying to maneuver around and trying to pick those moments where I can get a good charge in. I'm not looking to engage you in straight up fighting because I don't actually have any halberdiers, any pikemen, and any infantry at all. I'm looking to hit and run quite a lot, keep this a skirmish battle. Um, uh, I don't have. I, I spent all my points on my on my yeah. guys, so I couldn't buy any resources. Whereas I, this is it, stage three. So before you actually sit down to play, you built your army list. You sit down with your opponent. You then have the option to buy resources. So for example, activation orders, charge orders, reactivation orders, interruption orders, legend tokens, XP tokens, and legend cards. Now they all have different prices, and they are limited as well. So for example, you can only have one activation order and one of each, uh, either charge, reactivation, or interruption. Just one of the three, and that is it i have chosen to go with three uh legend tokens and two experience tokens wow. so i and so you could literally uh well this is it level up your your hero well right? the re the reason i've done it is actually i don't want to level up john chandos immediately he comes with the council phase ability that says that the st uh, during the council phase you draw a legend card so i'm hoping with a good legend card and a couple of good tokens i could potentially get a couple of key uh, events off that when you need you can level him up that's it so the battle theme then, um, we rolled the Doom Dice at the moment, that's how yep. we're doing it, and we randomised the battle theme, and we got King of the Hill. So looking back at the board, let me bring it up here, there we go. This is the board we're playing over, and here, if you just notice, this little token is signifying that this entire hex is the hill. This is where we'll be trying to get to. If you have units in either of these areas, you're going to score points. Absolutely. At the end of every round, you can, you can, keep, you can keep me right on the exact points. We then randomized who was going to go first. So I actually ended up winning this. Um, now you have the choice. The winner of this, this coin flip or this kind of randomization gets the choice of deploying first and going first. And I, I very much chose that. I want to get my bowmen into position early and take advantage of that, which meant Leo got to choose the map. So I chose the map, the <laughs> depending on what was available, yep. I chose the map that would least favor favored yep. you. Uh, you have a house in in uh, <laughs> yeah it's, in, it's, it's, in, in in the way it's, so, yeah, it's yes. going to restrict <laughs> some of my movement here yes. um, a little bit um, you'll notice a couple of things first of all we've, we've put a couple of tokens down just for our initial deployment we will remove those afterwards because they're really just for us to keep track of our deployment but you'll also notice that we have two little civilian tokens here oh that tree is actually blocking that one a little there he is <laughs> behind the tree um, and the reason for this is now what we're going to do is randomly add two civilians to the game. So if you want to, Leo, just yeah, give them a shuffle and then we'll put them in the middle down here. Sh I'll shuffle them right here. And then if you just want to choose, so these are a random selection of uh, civilians. We'll pre the first one's gonna go just here. So you choose one to go there. Yeah, so this we have, ooh, it's the bone, the bone setter. setter. And then I'm gonna choose one to go here. I'm gonna go for this so one. Take the mini from the bone setter And I've here. got the priest, ooh, which oh. might, it might encourage us to go wholly upgraded characters we can take those away and just to show you guys so we had a, a ton of different options so we could have had the merchant girl the soothsayer the blacksmith the apothecary uh, the citizen and the doctor these all could have been uh, different civilians we could have got um interesting so the priest i was pop priest and bone setter so these are, of course, our civilians that we can interact with. Uh, and we can uh, take recruit over. them. Yeah. Yes. Now, in the battle mode currently, in the testing, we're not using any sort of intrigue or discussion, but you can absolutely take advantage of their abilities, yes. which is key. So and now, they are also, how would you say, uh, meat, right? Uh, yeah, this, yeah, they are a wound to be absorbed <laughs> um, instead of one of your units getting taken. A little sad, but war is war. So we're ready to deploy? Yes. Okay. Please, please deploy. Uh, I'm gonna have a quick think. Um, so, would you so mind just? Well, we I'm have to deploy yeah. where we have our uh, little flags yep. here, and then we take them out. That's it. And, uh, so, two things I'll ask you just while I'm thinking about where I want to deploy. Would you mind just describing how the points for the King of the Hill work? When do you score them? How many points do you get? How does it, how does it work? Oh, you oh. have it on oh. your document. Okay. King of the Hill. I think it's at the end of each round, but please check, double check that. So. You will, if you have, uh, essentially, it, it, it's, if you have more victory points than your opponent at the end of the game, you're gonna win, obviously, five rounds we're playing, and you gain one victory point at the end of each enemy turn uh, oh, with yeah. which you occupy okay. the objective hex written on the board. So in this case, it is, oh, bring it up, it is this one here, and we actually have a, because we knew this was gonna be the, the hill, oh. we've got a nice little angle of it here as well. Oh, also, I think you should mention um, the morale Yes, this is, this is the other thing we haven't mentioned. Yeah, I'll let you do, I'm gonna start deploying, okay. you can talk about. So, 
I'll let you deploy. So let me tell you about the morale points. Each of your army comes with morale because there's an, no matter what the objective is, there's always a way uh, to win uh, by uh, routing your opponent. So each of, when, when you have built your army, each of your unit come with a morale value. So when it's, uh, uh, and you look at this, uh, you, you look at the number of uh, characters you have per base. So for a standard three character, uh, three uh, soldiers uh, base, it's one point of, it's one uh, morale value per, per base. Uh, for the, uh, the mounted knights, well, for the two characters uh, per unit, it's two. And for a single unique character per base, it's three. So the total of my army is 15, and the total of uh, Az's army is 15 as well. And if you go, d every time one, is, uh, one unit is destroyed, you lose some morale. As I said, if you destroy uh, a mounted knight unit, you lose two of uh, morale. If you destroy a standard uh, character, uh, a standard uh, unit, mm -hmm. you lose one. If you destroy uh, the the leader, you lose three. And if you're down to two thirds of your morale point, you're routed and your opponent uh, has an immediate victory. So no matter the objectives of the game, that's always something that we have to be aware and of. And we will right? represent that with cubes. Yeah. So um, I have blue cubes for everything I can lose and then... Once the we hit those? When, once we hit those, it's... And I have them here as well. So at the moment, as of course, we're still kind of testing the, the battle mode and working with it. So we're kind of doing a bit of experimentation with the tokens and stuff that's available in the core box and everything you're going to get in, in Wave 1, of course, with the stretch goals. Um, would you like to go ahead and deploy? And yeah. as, as you do, I'll have a quick chat and everyone knows at home what my stuff looks like. So I have deployed John Chandos right here alongside my two units of bowmen and then supported by my two units of mounted bowmen. This is my main English rally point flag right here as well. Over here, you'll notice I have two different colours of base for the mounted knights so I have standard mounted knights with two red dice and a charge ability and then I have the gentry mounted knights which are slightly different they only roll one red but one black as well and when attacking the shields that they roll will become pushes so these guys are very good at displacing enemy units so I thought a lot about keeping these guys near the hill so that they could push units off the hill but I won't lie this placement of the bone setter has attracted me um, primarily because she allows you during the camp phase to re roll um, and once uh, the doom dice for up to two units and that's a pretty strong ability for keeping yourself in the game leo is a little closer to her than i am unfortunately given this but i'm a little closer to the priest i would have preferred they were the other way around the priest's ability is that they can perform a heal action on an allied holy character only this heal action can be performed in an adjacent area so it's strong however he also comes with the prayer ability which means he can be used to essentially farm and generate experience or legend tokens so i'm quite happy to try and pick him up but i'm not making it a, 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 a priority per se well, hello. Okay, I'm Would done. you like to chat about what you've decided to do? Well, I decided I have two uh, hexes that are one area, yep. which means I can uh, concentrate a lot of mm -hmm. my armies there. And you know, in, in this game, yep. that helps. So I, I just, I didn't use the one uh, in the back mm -hmm. because I need to be able to position as I want. Yep. Uh, I think your, uh, your bowmen have uh, an a distance to th of three hexes. Two, two hexes. Two hexes. So, so I'm, I'm a little outside. In fact, going first now, this map you've chosen with the elongated yeah. is really not what I would have wanted at all because yeah. I'm quite far away from you, which means I might not get a lot of initial attacks off before you're in my face. I do outweigh your crossbowmen. Your two different types are both range one, isn't that right, with the direct fire? Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can, I, I'll potentially try and... Uh, they have a range of one hex only. Yeah. So I want to position them uh, and be able to... Yep. Yeah. And so what I've also done, I've, I've added uh, a surgeon in, at arms mm -hmm. uh, with them because he has retaliation. Yep. So if you want to attack them, you, yep. you, you, you might lose some. What, what defensive dice do the crossbowmen have? Black? So they have white dice. Uh, the Genoese, the, the one in with the white uh, so uh, base, have a black dice oh. east. And if they, uh, they are entrenched, yep. they will get one white dice in attack oh. and defense. Wow. So yes, I am not looking really to engage them head on, but we'll see. So all set up. 
Yeah, ready to go. Let's start this battle. So start of round one, flip over a round card and let's see what we get. So three activations. So we have activation banners. <laughs> and We're using with the final material. I have no start of turn action, start of round action. So we'll have the War Council cards if you don't have any. Okay, so move one of your rally points and rally one ally, allied unit or okay. gain one uh, charge token. Okay. So we can also change one uh, activation tokens for three experience or three uh, okay. legend yep. tokens. And Not that oh, one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, uh, a simple activation token. So you have to choose first. I'm going to grab myself a charge. I have four units of cavalry. Absolutely charges is, is down for me. I will also do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's begin. Yes. So my first order is going to be uh, given a standard activation order right here to John Chandos, the bowmen, and also the mounted bowmen. Um, what I shall do, let's think about how I want to do this. I'm going to move John Chandos straight up. With I'm going to move everything, basically. So I'm declaring move actions for everyone. I'm going to move the bowmen up as well. The mounted bowmen, however, are going to move too. They're going to go to here. They have haste. And they have haste, so allowing them to get those, those two spaces. At the end of the activation, then, what I would like John Chandos to do is to give an order to an adjacent area to one unit. Now, am I allowed to give them an order? Oh, yeah, of yeah. course. So they will basically slide across to here, oh, and I will gain control of the priest. So I will <sighs> lift him up, put one of my base rings on him. Very early, I want to get control of him right now so I can really use that prayer You know ability. that if he's left alone, I can... Uh, I steal him back. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I would stay, yeah, recruit. I could steal him back is not exactly <laughs> what I meant, but yes, recruit. So I will take the priest card. Yeah. Okay. There's no interrupts on your side, so I don't really need to worry no. at all. No. Oh, please. Otherwise, you would have to ask me yeah. if I want to do something. Please forgive me. I actually forgot that John Chandler says during the council fees, I should draw one legend card. Yeah, so if you're sorry, forgive me. I should grab one of those. Thank you so much. Uh, so we're using the Tactics Legend deck because neither of us are using a Mythical Army. If one of us was using a Mythical Army, we'd be using the Mythical deck. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Interesting card. <laughs> can't tell any other. I can't, I can't tell him. I'll maybe show you guys at home later on. Uh, so that's my first activation done. Okay. So uh, Nothing from you, so I've got my second one to go. Um, so I want to stay nicely grouped together as well as I can. So, oh, this is looking at the board. I really, I really want to get some shots off on you this turn. That that would be ideal, and not take too much damage back again. You so know, I grouped, regrouped my guys yep. because if you charge, yep. if I was separated, you mm -hmm. could you could com com yep. completely kill them. But because I'm I'm here, I know I have like lots of defense yep. and lots of retaliation. Yep. So I'm going to activate this, this area, and I'm going to move John Chandos forward with those guys. And I'm going to actually um, have one of the units of Bowman drop some uh, spikes down. Yeah. Some stakes, sorry. Was there. So I'm going to put a series oh, of yeah. stakes just here. Um, and this then is a free action. Yeah. Then a bonus action, yeah. it's called. Then I'm going to have the priest um, take the command from the adjacent area from John Chandos, and I'm going to have him simply pray. Which uh, gives you either a, a, a myth or an experience I token. would like, this is, this is a tough call actually, so I can go holy or unholy. I'm not, see, I'm not sure how brave I want. John Chandos, if he goes unholy, goes to four wounds, three black dice on attack. You know, he could really start to fight against, but yeah. um, I think for now I'm going to take a legend token, I think, just from here. And that's the end of my second activation. Okay. Anything further? No. Oh, back to me. I keep. No, no. There's no interrupt. My no. brain keeps jumping into interrupt. You're right. Mode. You're right. But this is the way to do. Yeah. It's for people, if 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 I had a blue one, you yeah. should ask me Absolutely. at the end of your of your turn. So I'm then going to activate this area here. So right in the middle of this unit, I'm going to dismount these bowmen. Yeah. Also oh, these mounted bowmen and make them a unit of bowmen. Um, I'm also then going to, I think I'll leave John Chandos exactly where he is uh, and I'll give an order to these guys to also dismount. Yeah. So, and the dismounts are free action, but they're going to fire. So what I'm going to basically do is have these guys fire and then an order for these guys to fire as well. Yeah. All good. So these three units, so that's going to be two yellow dice per, uh, per bowmen. So that's three. And where do I want to go with this? 
looking at your bowmen, your crossbowmen with four black dice. You've got your sergeant at arms, give you another black dice. That's five black dice. What about here? You've got mounted knights, so they're black dice as well on defense. So that's two black dice, oh. three with a heavy sergeant. Oh uh, my goodness. So I'm definitely going to go here. I'm definitely going to go into your leader because it's slightly less uh, easily defended. Yes, because um, I also have the halberdiers who have a red and white dice yeah. in defense. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put six yellow dice into there. Ooh. That's not terrible. So I've got, yeah, I'll let you pop the mic because it'll so be easier for everyone to see at home. So, yeah. Two disrupts. Two disrupts. Two pushes. Two pushes and two blanks. And two blanks. Which will be gone. Okay. Oh, can't you change anything with your blank? No, only only if I roll shield will they okay. become disrupted. Okay. So grab your defense. So you need a bunch of black dice, right? Yes. So um, I have two mounted black knights. That's one black dice each. Yeah. Um, and what else have you got? I have uh, the sergeant at arms, Gascon and, uh, Brit uh, and Breton. Yeah. <laughs> That's one black dice. And I have uh, one red and one white. And then also your your character. Oh is yeah, a red and my well? character is a red. <sighs> yeah, this is not looking not looking fantastic for this first. Uh... Okay. I'm looking for shields. So I only I... see oh, two shields. No, three, three shields. shields. Oh. So I think I. You'll be relatively. Oh no, fun. and that's it. That's yeah. it. Then I have kills and things, but it won't work. Yeah. So the three shields. Then we'll take these away. The, the three, th shields three shields will cancel the two disrupts and one push. Yeah. Leaving and one push that you have to allocate, or you could potentially take it. Uh, as a wound on your character, if you really wished. Not that I would like you to do that per se. No, I will say that the halberdiers will uh, move, so you have to move them. Um, this isn't going to impact things too much, is it? Because you still got command, really. I'll I'll move them directly back into the town, just for, yeah, just for talk's sake. Um, okay. Now you have your command thing. Now I have a single a single command. I can't reach them on their own, unfortunately. Um, okay, yeah, so they have this single unit and going to attack. Oh, it feels so wasted. You can't, um, you can't, we can't reach my no, because it's it's three hexes away. Um, there's no hero yeah, in yeah, this one. I'll I chuck, you never know. I'll chuck, I'll chuck two dice in to your, your hero, and I get two shields, which becomes two disrupts thanks to the longbowman's ability. Oh, so yeah, you never know. You, you could roll just absolutely <laughs> terribly. One, two. So everything minus a red and white. Yeah, nice. I see two shields. Yeah, so two shields. Not three even. shields. Three actually. shields. Yes. Oh. No. So no. Not even. Not even a little bit. Not even close. Okay. I f at the end of their activation though, I am going to stick down some uh, stakes. So I'm going to try and hold this position as best I can. And am I going to stop? I do think I'm probably going to stop just there. Yep, I'm going to hold on to my charge order, let it move down on my player board so I have it for next round, and that is the end. I'll take my banners away. I'm not feeling very happy about the current position. I'm feeling very vulnerable. Very vulnerable indeed. I maybe shouldn't have gone so far forward, but we'll see. Oh, I can have. see something interesting. Okay. I could do. Mm -hmm. I only have three activations, right? One. Yeah. So three normal activations and a charge. All right. You have your stakes. Yeah. But I do have an open flank. But you have, uh, you do have an open flank, yeah. and with the charge, I think I can reach you. Yeah. So, I will activate here mm -hmm. with my uh, command. Command. I will ask the uh, halberdiers yep. to 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 join us. Uh, so it's before now yep. they're here and now I can activate the mm -hmm. whole group so uh, they these one will move here mm -hmm. yeah uh, oh wait no oh. <laughs> these will move yeah because I can only have four of them right yep. These will move, and this one as well. Mm -hmm. After that, I will do a charge mm -hmm. on here, nice. which means I can move my two, one, two, two yeah, here lovely. and attack from yep. the flank. Mm -hmm. 
uh, he will uh, command. Well, he's uh, already commanded, but they can they can still move as part of the. Oh, oh, you're charging. No, no, oh, yes, yes, absolutely. Right. Yes, I understand uh, now. So he can, yeah, he yep. can move, I get them yep. move, and then they can move here. Yep. Lovely. This is their activation. Perfect. And now I can do the attack here. Yeah. So Fantastic. this is my second activation. So you've got four reds to chuck in. So you've got two ready. There's another two. Four reds. Oh, this is going to sting. This yeah, four gone. reds for. Uh, okay, they have impetus, which means if you're not there, I have to yep. uh, follow up. Follow up. Uh, oh, this could be rough. Oh, he has charge as well. But he can't charge far no, enough. No, no, yeah. Just one and, and then, yes. So cool. he could be able, if he, if he charged, it, yeah. it's one and, but they could do up to yep. two and charge. Perfect. Okay. Or I could have charged with him. That would have been even better. Yeah. Do you want to hold off one turn and then charge? No, with no, him? no. I don't think you're going to need it, but you never know. Never know. No, I don't. I don't necessarily need it. Okay. So I will stick to that. That was a mistake. I think I should have uh, done a normal one here and then and do my green here. here, so I could. Yeah. Have if you want, if you want to do that, you yeah, absolutely can. No, but okay. I, I, I made a mistake. It's, it's it's okay. But you made a mistake here. So yeah, I definitely came a bit far forward here. So that's four di red dice for yep. my mounted knight yep. and one red and a black. But well, he, he's not fighting. Oh no no. Yeah. So what have we got? Oh, a, a decent amount of stuff. So two disrupts so two and disrupt a push. Two disrupt and one push and yeah, one shield. So I'm going to be defending with a priest who has no defense whatsoever um, and bowmen who roll a single white dice. So I will uh, get a shield. So a shield will cancel one of the disrupts. So one is disrupted. Um, so that's okay. So one disrupt. So one disrupt and one push get left. Yeah. Um, I think I'll be definitely be disrupting the priest. So he will go over there. And then I'll be pushing uh, the bowman. Where would you like the bowman to go? Mm -mm. I would like them. Uh, what is your command? Uh, uh, it's adjacent one area. So if I put him here, you can command him back. So I will. Yeah, this would not be adjacent. Yes. Yeah, I thought uh, that's why I moved the building. I thought you might do that. And then you must follow I up because of impetuous. Because of impetuous. Okay, now do these, you haven't crossed these, so these no, actually stay for now. Okay. They stay there. Okay. Mm. This is an interesting position right here. There could be a very big roll in coming. You very much have control of the hill. So do you go for the hill or do you spend actions charging into John Chandos? <laughs> this is this is a brief moment. Does he have retaliation? He does. Uh, do no, he only rolls a single red on defense, so it's well, not terrifying. Yeah, well, you will kill one of mine. If if he rolls it, he definitely could. Two kills in the red dice, two disrupts as well. Yep. Yes, it could result in a dead mounted knight. This is this is a real because we're looking at the board See, right if now. If I yeah. had if I had Bertrand du Guesclin with him, I would definitely go. Yep. Because he has five, so he this mistake is, uh, is unfortunate, but... Do you regroup on the hill? Bring everyone back and just group I up again? I think I will regroup. Because I mean, you're going to get a victory point for every unit there at the end of my turn, meaning I'll have to spend a lot of time trying to displace you. will hold a nice oh look at that and you're blocking me getting behind you to the second half and of I the have some the retaliation they all yeah have retaliation but you're going to attack with your bowmen I know you yeah well I would be silly not to wouldn't I uh, yeah I think I'm done okay. uh, I can't score because it's the end of my turn yeah, it's at the right. end of your mm -hmm. uh, your turn yep so I I get all these back and and I have with. to roll a doom dice for the per little uh, priest. <laughs> uh, that he's is dead. that is a death. No, he's not going to come against my morale, but that's a bit of no, a shame. No, he doesn't. He doesn't affect your morale. Per priest, he was he was with us for just such a short time. But hey, I got a token. <laughs> I got a token from it. <laughs> so that, I'm gonna be happy with that. Start of round two. Yeah. Okay. So we have four activation orders. And into the council phase, I'll get a legend card as well, but we'll deal these out first. So three experience. Three experience card. Okay, 
you could exchange two myth for one activation, three for one blue, three for one yellow, and three for one green. Oof. And finally, oh. And finally, a blue Ooh, activation. Oh my goodness, a blue interrupt is huge. Absolutely huge. Wowie. Oh, that's tempting. That is tempting. Oh, what to do? What? Oh, I destroy him. I got yep. one experience. Oh, because he was with, uh, he yeah. was on my yeah. side at the time. Perfect. Um, can I please, so during the Council of can I get a legend card actually? Because it might help affect my decision. You want an, yes, uh, please. This is from John Chandos' ability. Oh, yeah. Oh, every time. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. during the Council oh. of So, um, okay. I have so this is a tricky decision um, I think I'm going to take the blue interrupt it's so strong I'll definitely go and get the blue interrupt yeah. as well there was a real decision there where I was thinking the charge could be very useful um, but I kind of gave up on it um, so realistically what I'm thinking now is you split your forces quite a lot I'm thinking I need to consolidate mine and try and crush the hill, but I really am not a fan of charging into this. Does does uh, your character have Bertrand? Does he have retaliation? He does. Oh my goodness! With a red dice, he has and he has. Yes. The the mountain knights do not have retaliation. So realistically, I really want to whittle this down with some. But the halberdiers will roll a red and white. Yeah. Uh, and the sergeant at arms. Uh, will will roll a, a black dice, yeah. which is not as bad. Yeah. Okay. So ready to start. I shall activate here, and I'm going to have all these guys move back. I'm going to create a little bit of distance because now you're on the point. I don't need to be quite as far forward as I was, and I'm going to have John Chandos issue an order adjacently yeah. to these bowmen to regroup them together. So I'm going to just back off a little. Still within two hexes though, and I'm going to hope for some decent die rolls here. So you've got an interrupt now, so I will offer the opportunity for you to get involved if you wish. I wish I had a charge. Right, and <laughs> an interrupt charge. How strong would that be? <laughs> Yeah, I must admit, I'm looking at the board thinking a charge over here, if I could wipe these guys out, but I don't think they're enough morale. You've only got six morale over there, yeah. which means I still have to deal with this. Yeah. So I decided against the, the charging across the battlefield, even though I really want the bone setter. She would be great. No, no interrupt? I don't see what no. I really it's can do. You, I, I can't even shoot at you with the crossbowmen, so I'm not going to yeah. interrupt. I need to stay out of range of those crossbowmen. That's a lot of potential arrows rolling red dice. They're not even mm. the bowmen rolling two yellows is fantastic, but red dice ranged attacks can be just terrifying. Okay, so my second order then will be, as I'm sure you realize, into here. Um, I'm going. Oh, you know what I could have done maybe was move my guys here. Yeah. Would that be interesting? Because. Um, I could still range attack you because you'd still be within two hexes. Um, and right now you're preventing me getting into the hill, so I'm not sure. It's uh, Or yeah. if I don't want to receive these, uh, these arrows, mm -hmm. I, could, I could simply move here. You'd still be two hexes. Oh. Yeah. You've kind of, by charging forward to this position, you have brought yourself into kind of the, the arc of the bowmen, unfortunately. <laughs> but if you make me... If I have some uh, move, mm -hmm. if I have some uh, push, yep. I will automatically be, be pushed here, yep. which is better than being spread. So I will actually interrupt okay, sure. and move back here yep. to, 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 to be prepared for the possible... Uh, so if I push you, you still hold the hill. Yes. Because yep. it's at the end of my turn that you'll that score. Up, yeah. So actually, that's a great strategic move. Because that's why I have to push you yeah. several times to get you yeah. off the hill. Nice play. Nice play. Yeah, I was thinking, uh, I'm going to receive this. Yeah, the fire's coming. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we have two units of the Knights, the Halberdiers, the Sergeant at Arms, and your hero. I'm going to activate. Now, I'm, going to, I'm only really going to realistically get to fire once because I don't have a reactivate. That would have been the other cube I really wanted yeah. to look at. But um, then you, will, you can take care of your 
your uh, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna activate your cavalry. <laughs> this is it. So I'm gonna activate here. I'm gonna have John Chandos move out. Yeah. Um, for now, and I think is what I'll have him do. Which is a good idea. Yeah, and I'm gonna <laughs> have a great idea. I'm gonna have the four bowmen shoot into here. So that's gonna be eight yellow oh. dice this time. I'm hoping this 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 could be big. I really need to see some yeah. some good numbers here. That's Not well. Bad. Do you know what this has? This has really shown that your decision was very good because here are three pushes, here are two shields which will become disrupts thanks to the bowman ability, and then here's another disrupt just naturally rolled. So wow. you moving to there, very smart. Mm. So get your defense together. Yes. Um, all oh, right. So black for each of the mounted knights. Yeah. Right? Uh, you need a red for Bertrand. Yes, a please. red and a yellow for the halberdiers, and another red for this, oh, black for sergeant arms. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Come on, good. I mean, actually, just before you do this, do you know what? I'm gonna spend my reroll. Really? Yep. I'm gonna spend oh. my I'm gonna spend my reroll on the blanks, and maybe some of the pushes. Two blanks. I'm gonna reroll all the pushes as well before you roll your defense. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm going for blood. Absolutely. Well, I still have my reroll as well. Now that has mm, come out. Well, actually, what I've done is I've upgraded two pushes into two disrupts. Yeah, which and I is still rolled two blanks, but not the end yeah, of the world. Yeah, so it was it was worth it. Yeah, yeah, kind of okay with that. No shields, no shields. Oh, I don't see a lot of shields. Oh, I don't see. Oh, I see one shield. <gasps> you know what? Reroll time. <laughs> Reroll time. <laughs> I will reroll as well. Wow, this this is an this is an important time. This is a really important roll. Please no shields, no shields. I see at least one more. Two, Two more. more shields. Oh, so we, our rerolls essentially nullified each other. Yeah. No, so we can no, get rid of all of those. So three shields will get rid of three disrupts, meaning you've got two disrupts and a push left to allocate. Oh man, that was big. You know what? Mm -hmm. Or two push initials, right? Yes. I have to allocate one result to each yeah. uh, character. So I will definitely uh, allocate one push to Bertrand. Oh, one so disrupt? Or? One yeah, disrupt. So he, gets a wound, yeah. so he gets a wound. Four wounds left. But then I have to 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 allocate one to m my guys. Yep. Um, I will put it to the halberdiers because you're not going to go attack me so retaliation yep. is not as important i would yep. save the black die so yep. he's going to disrupt it to disrupt. and then i just a push left and then you have one push and so i choose who's pushed and i choose where well i don't choose where because you moved back strategically so you you can't attack me again no because I, I don't have a reactivation well one two one two one two i'm trying to see if you could charge me one, two, three. Yes, you could. I could charge if I really wanted to. It would cost a lot of activations. So uh, I'll say this, guys. Mm -hmm. So they are pushed, so they move out. You would have, you yep. would choose, but you, you can't choose that. So right now you still oh do God. you still do have four units that will yeah. be scoring you victory points at the end of my turn. Yeah. I have two normal activations one charge and so one if if i'm still here at the end of your turn four points that's four points that's one per per yeah. unit mm -hmm. um so this is tough right uh, i could spend all my activation orders to move move again and then one two charge into here which could be good but leaves me very vulnerable to being attacked back or you I could, could try and go there. I definitely do not want to deal with a six. I want to, if, if these guys are going to come, I want them to have to split up a little bit. I want them to deal with these smaller areas that congest the board. I'm not heading into that nightmare. Um, I could, no, I could potentially have John Chandos issue some orders and just potentially try and get a few more shots off, but two yellow dice is not inspiring. I wonder if I could upgrade and get a little bit more. I could potentially spend two experience to upgrade John Tannos and get a little bit more command. Mm -hmm. Who's but the better version for commanding? Is uh, it so the, the unholy gives him adjacent and three, whereas the uh, holy gives him one hex away, further range, but only two. 
I also am not very keen on sending him down the combat route because I really am not sure if I want him to fight, but that was my initial plan. Now I've seen how the battle's played, I think I might need to change my plan. The downside is I only have two experience, which means I can upgrade him, uh, level him up, but if I don't gain another experience through one of your guys dying, he'll downgrade immediately next turn and thus I'll lose that. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna spend two experience. I'm gonna level him up to the unholy side. Unholy, of course. Yep. He's English. <laughs> I am going to activate his area. And the first thing I'm gonna have him do is issue his order to three units in the adjacent area, which will be my three units of bowmen. This is a reactionary thing I've had to do to what you've done, and I think this could work out. It could. Now, do I take a, probably an easy disrupt? Because I can't kill, I can only disrupt. I take an easy disrupt with the Halberdiers, or do I take the harder one, but have a better chance of, of taking out units that are really a pain in the butt, let's not lie. Um, so this would be black, black, and a red. This would be just a red and a white. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for your character in the Mountain Knights. It's gonna be, it's gonna be bold. I did not roll well at all. <laughs> I you rolled don't have your three re -roll. blanks. No, I rolled two pushes and, and one that, beca shield that, that shield that becomes. Uh, yeah. So I have a disrupt and two. So you're rocking two mounted knights for two black, and then a red for, for Bertrand. That's it. That's not much. Yeah, I could get away with this. I so oh, <laughs> two shields and uh, a push. So only the push will make it through. A disrupt and push get stopped. One push makes it through. Um, this time I think you can't attack me any longer, so um, Bertrand will will move. So he'll take a push. We'll take a push. So he's just going to basically move yeah. forward to there. So I have the two retaliations, so now I'm ready to receive you if you want to charge me. So that was the order of Jan John Chandos, and I'm then going to have him uh, move. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to have him move to here. <laughs> okay. Yes. And, oh, then, yeah. and then I'm going to order again. I'm going to order this area. I'm going to move him to here. And I'm going to have him dish out another oh, three shit. orders. Oh, I need to get some experience. So here, three bowmen take another another shot. Where? Th this time. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, man. This is tough. Mounted knights are going to more likely defend it. But I, I also need... An experience to keep John Chandos leveled up. Otherwise, that three experience. Well, you will still have a chance with the uh, War Council cards before the upkeep. Because it's spent. at the end of the War Council round that you oh. need to pay for upkeep. Oh, I don't like the idea of having that choice forced. But why don't I have my priest to pray? If I just had him, I could be getting all you know, this love experience. You know, the priest I think can also uh, heal holy, he? holy characters. And well, I went down you could have, route. you could have. I love the idea you that could, the, the holy come. priest dies and John Chandos goes into an unholy rage. <laughs> uh, okay, blood, blood in his thoughts. I'm going to go after the mounted knights. Okay. Yes. Oh, this is so tough. Yeah, because if I can take them down, it's less victory points for you as well. Mounted knights it is. That is, again, a, well, an no, okay no, it's, roll. It's okay. So we've got two shields, which will become disrupts, and we have two pushes. So that's good. That's good, because I could not roll anything, and then I'm disrupted. So it's actually a very so good roll. Two black dice? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, 50-50 on each one, looking for shields. That's a kill one and a shield. So you end up with one disrupt and two pushes, so essentially one disrupt and one push, basically. One disrupt and one push. So one is disrupted, no need, and the other one is pushed here. Yeah. Okay, I don't feel incredibly excited about what, everything that just went down, but it was okay. I'm gonna end my turn there. I'm gonna hold on to my charge. I'm gonna hold on to my interrupt. Take away these four activations. How key that that was a four activation round and not a two activation round. Had that come up as you would just taken the hill, oh, that would have been tough. Um, so you end up getting three victory points. Yeah. Um, we don't actually have something perfect to track this, but I'll just for talk. You sake. know, uh, I think oh, I think yeah, we yeah. I think we can easily remember. Yeah. Um, okay. That we're on th we're on three victory points. Um, okay, that is the end of my turn. It is over to you, Sir Leo. I okay. Need, well, I need some of those guys to die so I get experience. Is what I really need. Have a look at the battlefield. 
even for a light skirmish, this has had a bunch of tactical choices, oh a, bunch, yeah. Yeah, a bunch of things <laughs> have happened that I did not really predict. I can't believe I haven't done anything with my wanted knights. I maybe should have put them a little more forward. They're a bit lonely out there. I risk it. This is a, not the best deployment decision given what's happened. Now, I know that you're going to interrupt and throw no, arrows at me. No, I'm not. Yes, Why I would you even did. suggest that, Leo? that well, the tricky thing is can you present another threat because obviously i want to arrow this but if you can put something else on the board that i can't ignore because you've got four activations now do you spend them essentially trying to do something here or do you bring another threat in that i have to consider before i interrupt is kind of the question i think right now we're very interestingly we've both left half our armies unengaged and what they do could really change things Okay, so I'm gonna move something so that you you wander, uh, you start wandering. <laughs> I'm gonna move all these guys yeah. here. Oh, keeping them all together. Oh, you're absolutely cheeky. Wow. I am not going to interrupt. <laughs> I I I I don't. There's too many units. I need them split a bit more before I even consider it. Now I can only have four of them, right? If you move into the, tr the triple area hexes, yeah. So I will activate these guys. Mm -hmm. of one. So the white base is just remind people of the Genusi. Yes, so you know, uh, I always say that wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they, um, they're they the ones that kind of entrench. Yeah. They're essentially the Italian. They're, 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 they're a little different to the standard crossbowmen that Leo has on the blue base. And then the other blue base is a unit of sergeant at arms. Two. Three. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't you see targets starting to present? Importantly, the white base uh, Genosi uh, crossman roll black dice in defense, meaning very hard to. So, yeah, I could still have six there, right? Yeah. And okay. these will. See, move. that's really. I love that. Anyone watching at home, Leo's already starting to think about the maximum number of units he can have in a given area. So, choosing to send three this way so this becomes a six block again is really cool. I like that. So, now I've split. Yes. I am. Um, not going to interrupt. And soon they can shoot, right? Miss one hex range? One hex range. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. conscious of that. And they shoot with red. Red dice. You can feel the cogs turning in the room now. Sorry we've got so quiet, but... I will activate these guys yeah. and they will move here. I will not, no, yes, I will interrupt right now, actually. Yep, this is the time to interrupt. Okay. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Well, not okay, I know, but I do not want these guys to get all together. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want black dice added into this already strong pool. I am absolutely activating my four units of bowmen. I am just not yet sure who I should attack, so I have three. Which is what I wanted you to yeah, you Now do you have three targets that are interesting. So I have three black dice here. Yeah. Um, the easiest target is actually over here. Yeah. Because this is what, one black, one white, and then our yeah. another black. So two black and a white. Yeah. Three black, or over here I have a black, a red, and a white and a red. So and yeah. four hit points, so. Yeah, so this, this is really interesting because this is the toughest, so the, I really want to stop it. This is the most, interesting from an objective point of view, but this is actually the best for me to ensure that I can get a Doom Dice kill to try and swing the army and swing the experience my way. But I think I'm gonna have my archer shoot into here, into okay. your character. He's still got four wounds, which is a real pain, but let's do it. Oops. Getting a bit excited. Okay, I'm just gonna take that away, make it a bit easier. So again, not a bad roll by average. Um, so two blanks. Uh, one shield, one push. Oh, sorry, one disrupt, one push, but the two shields become disrupts thanks to the ability 
of the bowmen. They cannot kill, but my goodness, they are good at injuring and taking people down to the infirmary. All right, so red, black. Yeah, and then a red and white and for your halberdiers. No, it's n these are not halberdiers. Oh, these sorry, are sergeant not. at arms. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. they're Gascon. So these are black. Another black. So a black, two black and a red. Oh, yeah, you could, you could defend this. I see one, one shield. shield. Only. Oh. So. so we'll take those two away, take one disrupt away, and this is what you're left with, two disrupt and a push. So I'll take one hit for him. Yeah. Your wounds are, oh, where have your wound tokens gone? Oh, yeah, oh, there they're they are. here. <laughs> yeah. So this is, and uh, now yeah. uh, one, one wound and one disrupt. Yeah. Well, not one win, one, one disrupt and one push, yep. sorry. Um, I will disrupt. Oh, the rally point is so far away now. I will disrupt this one. Okay. And then I get to push the sergeant at arms. Ye uh, yes. yes. I'll push them to here. Here. Yep. Um, okay, that was my interrupt action, which is now finished. So you still have one order left if you wish to take it. Of course, I'm going to. But nah, you don't have to. You could just stop there. Let's have a look at the battlefield. I will move them here. Yeah, that's a, such a great move, Leo. I'm. So so sad that you've now got a solid wall of stuff there. Now I have the defense. Yep. And uh, there's the risk of. Well, I could I could also have like firepower. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All done. All done. Uh, so I so far I'm at three victory points. Yes. Right? I got nothing at the end of your turn because I'm nothing on the hill, That's and I am. I need some good doom dice rolls here. I really do. Um, so what are you doing for halberdiers first? Halberdiers first. Just roll it here is fine. I think we'll maybe see it easier. Yeah, oh yeah, and then do whatever you like. There, we'll come back next, next round. Turn. Next round. Mounted Knights, come on, please. Come back next, next turn. turn. Oh, come on. And the last one. Come on, one unit, one unit, one unit. Stay disrupted. Oh, well, none of them came back now. But I did not get the, I no. just needed a no. single bit of experience, any you one of didn't. those three dice. That's huge. <sighs> okay, you're gonna grab your it's orders. It's tense, guy. But it's interesting, but it's very tense. So grab, grab your uh, orders back, and then we'll start round three. Yeah. And crucially, by not killing those units, I haven't affected Leo's morale yet. Units will not deduct, no. deduct from your total morale, and remember no. the goal is essentially to take two thirds of the morale yeah. away. There's one exception mm -hmm. in the very last round, mm -hmm. before you do uh, the, the uh, yep. they the count as destroyed for morale. Makes sense, because they're okay. essentially out of the yes, battle. Yes, they are out of the battle. Okay, third uh, round card third, then? Third round. So it's, oh, okay, we have three more. So oh, it's four. Another Again. four. So that means we've had a three and two fours, right? So we have a two and a five left? No, two and a three left? I can't remember now. You guys can keep us right in the comments what it should be. We're not looking. Um, what have we had? A three and two fours. So that means we have a two and a five left. Don't look, don't look. No, no, I'm not going to look. I think it's a two and a five. Okay. Was it two and five? I think so. Oh, I don't know. Can I please have a legend card for Joe? Oh, no, I don't. Ignore me. I'm sorry. I've upgraded him to be unholy. So I don't any longer get my legend card. Except, well, Unless he, will, he, he, will, he will level down. Yeah. Except if you, you have yeah. uh, experienced again. So you could destroy one of my activation. Yep. You could exchange a, a black for a green, so a charge. Oh. oh, you could have, no. He's going to level down. <laughs> no, the worst thing is I don't get the legend card and at the end of the phase, he goes down. So I, I lose he will, both. He will lose now. And I don't even yeah. get the start of your turn, gain one cube. I don't get that either because of the timing. So he's going to let you, because normally it yep, says yeah. the start of your yeah. turn, gain a cube. Yeah. So I'm going to lose out in both ways. Well, it was oh. a bet. It was. It was. It was I definitely, yeah, I hoped that I could get one. one or do then you had two little chances, yeah. but it was risk. It's it was a it risk. Is. I knew yeah. it. I knew it myself. Okay. So I will take, um, 
I will take uh, a normal activation to become a charge. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm right, oh, am oh, I right oh, in oh, saying oh. that a charge can be used to basically just move two areas? So you can use a charge and it lets you move two. With, with your uh, yeah, mounted charge units. Yeah, 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 of course, yes, yes. You don't have or to is it, attack. Is it, is it two and then stop, or is it two and then I can move one more, or is it two and then attack? So the charge for, well, if you have the charge mm -hmm. ability, yep. you can move up to one and then attack, okay. or up to two and then attack if, if it's mounted. mounted. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, this is, the entire battle is about to change. I think. What is the command of your... Uh well, John Chandos was adjacent three. He's going to go back to adjacent one. Oh, okay. that Huge makes a big difference. difference. Yes. Yes, that's a big difference. The priest is gone, of course. I wish I could have an interrupt, but... Uh, yeah, right. So the choices are destroy an enemy activation, exchange an activation for a charge, or get a straight up normal gray uh, order activation. And we currently have, well, Leo has four base, I have three and two charges. I will base. destroy one of your I think that's a fantastic decision. So I now drop to two basic and two charge, one I've held for pretty much most of the game, and one other. Uh, it's tense, isn't yep. it? <laughs> it's, <laughs> wow, as you said, it's it's, we don't have lots of units, but there are so yeah. many, many choices to make, and it, you know, a lot of things are. Happening. Here we go. I'm just going. I'm just going to go at it. This is it. It's bravery time. It's time to really throw it out there. <laughs> These guys are charging. They're going to move one, two to here. It's absolutely bravery time. Time to go at it. <laughs> um, then I'm going to charge again. Oh, look, you have no interrupt yet, no. so I can charge again. And they're going to go one, two, and they're going to declare straight on. Oh. <laughs> well, you know. A charging of f four mount. Well, yeah, that could you could completely obliterate me. Um, now I do importantly um, need to keep my dice separate for this because I have a mix of units. So I have one unit of mounted knights and three units of gentry. So the one unit of mounted knights gets two red. The gentry knights each bring a red, so it's three red, and each bring a black, which is three black. And the reason I'm doing that is because they come with the ability that their shields become pushes, and um, so that's why I'm rolling them separately. This is, this is, yeah. yeah this I is, think this is the most important battle of the game. I thought there were some other important battles, but I think this might actually yeah. be the most important one. I yeah. think it is. So, Mounted Knights first. But, yeah, Mounted Knights first. So that's two disrupts. That's pretty good. Can't complain with that. Then the Gentry Knights follow up. They roll oh. actually exceptionally well. That is one kill two disrupts and then the two shields they roll will become pushes is it is it when attacking shields oh, become yeah, push yeah, yeah. yeah even even black black or white yeah, it doesn't, uh, black it doesn't or red uh, yeah. would work okay so right now oh i can't oh yes of course i need to swap that out because we don't have uh, there we go put that in to represent it so we have two kills we have four disrupts and we have two pushes now you have oh, three wow. black dice now from your Gen genosi uh, crossman Plus your yeah. red with retaliation from Bertrand. So there's still plenty of uh, get out of jail cards here. Is that right? Did I give you the yes, right there? Yep. Yes. Oh, oh, who has retaliation? Oh, yeah. Just uh, Duguay-Clin. So. Say, I'm saying his name right, am I? Bertrand de... Duguay-Clin. I'm not going to I'm not even going to try. Well, in English, you would say Duguay-Clin. 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 Yes. Duguay-Clin, in French. <laughs> Let's see it, Leo. No shields, no shields, no shields. <gasps> oh. Now, you did get a red retaliation. Yes. Which is pretty big. And one shield. And one shield. So the one shield will block a kill, which yeah. is really important because it means there's only one kill left. Um, and yes, that's gone too. So, oh my goodness. So, what, what do we have? Now, this one's easy to resolve for me. I'm basically just going to take a kill. Yeah, so you take a kill. I'll, I'll quickly get a unit out of there. Who is killed? Uh, I'm going to kill uh, the Gentry Knights. One minute of them. Do you mind popping them over for me? Thank you. Yeah. So yeah. you lose two morale. Yeah. You lose two morale. Okay. Or oh yeah, sorry. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, why not? We have a little. We've we've created ourselves. <laughs> obviously, church. yeah. We're still we're still better testing. We've created ourselves a little kind of cemetery almost for our <laughs> for our morale to go on to. So you lose two morale, yep. and I gain uh, uh, two experience points. Yep. 
which means I can, I'm close to leveling yep. up uh, Bertrand du Guesclin, mm -hmm. and then you will see. Uh, now, the kill will go to du Guesclin. So he takes a wound for the kill. Takes a wound. Yep. And he's already had one dice, so now we have to allocate all the disrupts to all the bowmen, right? So no, you can turn. You know. Yeah, so, so it would be like this, right? Yes. yes. So all uh, three of those. Yeah. And then another wound yeah, so to... We'll, so we'll take, take those away with the disrupts. So then another wound to du Guesclin. That's a fourth. Uh, that's a fourth. Yeah. And, then, and then one push, and then we, we're done. Okay. So if you, want to, uh, if you want to go ahead and pop those in the disrupt, those yes. there, and then he gets pushed back. Well, I, I have the choice of where he goes. Yeah. I'm definitely going to send him backwards. I am also going to follow up. So I'm going to move right in and corner him. Yeah. And I've been waiting for this moment. I'm going to spend three, three legend tokens for breakthrough. When your units follow up after an attack, immediately make another attack oh, no. with these units. Oh, I might the lose. The first one I drew at the start of the game. I might lose him. I'm going to send, so that is two red for the first mounted knights and then two more red and two black. And you now have nowhere to be pushed, meaning pushes are potential deaths. But he resists disruption, right? It's kills I need for him, isn't that correct? Yes. What's his special ability, just so everyone knows at home? If, if he's disrupted, he's placed in the waiting section of the infirmary. So if he's disrupted, he essentially comes back immediately next turn. Yes. I really want to see a kill get through here. So I'll roll the uh, mounted knights first with the two red. We get two disrupts. Not, That's good. Not what I want to see. Oh, that was a disrupt. Sorry, not a kill. And then we've got the gentry mounted knights. Now, pushes are as good as kills here. Is that right? Because he's got nowhere to get pushed to. Is it is it as a wound or as a disrupt? Oh, quick rule check. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we just quickly double check the rules because this is so important. If he does suffer a push but has nowhere to go, then it's going to be a, a disrupt result, not a kill, which is big for me because I really need to kill to get around the ability of Bertrand. So here we go. This is the Gentry Mountain Knights and two units. No kills, no kills. I see one kill. Just one. Just one kill. And the shields will become uh, pushes, which so doesn't really matter. I can actually just kind of take them off. I have one chance, so he's going to die, unless I roll a shield. If you roll a shield, it'll protect With my the red kill, dice. and despite all these disrupts, he'll come back immediately next turn because he's so heroic. Yeah. Red die needs a shield. There's only one shield on the red die. It's good. one chance. Good luck, six. Leo. Good luck. <laughs> that is brutal. Okay. So, so, so I, he still I cancel your kill. And you get disrupted and pushed, but you just go to the infirmary ready Waiting. to kill. So he will be back. Oh. Yes, that's Bertrand. Now, how many? So does he, he takes a fifth wound, right? And then how many wounds does he come back with whenever he comes back into the battle? No. When yeah. he's, he, he takes a fifth wound, yep. but he's got four. He's only one left, so... Yep. Uh, heroes yep. will take uh, any disrupt as wounds yep. until they have one left, and yep. then they become like the normal yep. ones. So it's a it's a disrupt. He goes to the infirmary yep. because of his uh, ability. Mm -hmm. yep. He's he will. And be when back. he comes back, how much health will he have? Just like he was. Just like he was. So just one. Just Maybe we get him next round. Okay, I am not going to follow up. <laughs> or am I? Uh, Do you no, have to follow up? No. Uh, these guys are not impetuous. No. no. So I'm literally just going to kind of turn these guys back around. Um. I'm not going to follow up any further. They're going to stay where they are. And I've yet, I have yet to kill anything of yours, meaning I haven't got any experience yet, which is really making me quite sad. So I've got two orders activation, two order activations left. Um, I've got to just keep trying to wipe you off the board. I really think, to be honest, um, it's just I don't want to, I don't want to attack into the halberd. Uh, the, these certain arms they have retaliation, don't they? Yes, they do. Um, I'm not too scared of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend an activation order on my bowmen and we're going to do a two hex range attack into here. Oh no. <laughs> okay. 
Oh. Again, this is showing how awesome and how maneuverable and how all, like, like really nice the the, the, the the English army I have built can be. But I don't. I'm not getting the kills because I'm not no. rolling characters to have a lot of no. kills. I've got uh, more experience than you, but yeah. all of my army is almost disrupted yeah. now. I need the doom dice to this come This is the me. English way. Pew, 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 pew. We stick our arrows into the ground, yeah. so even if they ski as you, you get infected. We cut off your arms. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm Irish. I don't know why I'm saying this. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go four units two yellow dice each of english bowmen firing into uh, your crossbowmen and uh, sergeant arms oh that's a big roll okay that's a lot of stuff let me bring all that just into shot there so the blank is nothing but the shields will become disrupts thanks to their ability that's put that for a dice which has two blanks on it that was actually i mean that's very <laughs> that's very a, very, a very, very strong roll. yeah very strong roll. so we have five disrupts and two pushes um, you got a black dice then uh, there for your Genosi. Your crossbowmen normal have a white dice. You have the white dice here. Okay, so yeah, I have. Yeah, uh, it's the heavy sergeant at arms that's definitely black. Then uh, oh yeah, I have all <laughs> different, and I have a, a black for my Genoese. Yeah. Yes, and one white for. Um, oh, so I, I really should see a bunch of disrupts here. I hope. Two shields. Ah, oh, well. So two shields are cancelled, two disrupts, which unfortunately does mean three disrupts still go three. Okay, so they're all disrupted. Oh my god, look at that. This means on your turn, you literally have one unit on the board. What happens if I kill this unit? Which one? This, this one? one. You actually will not have a unit on your board for your entire turn. Yeah. Interesting. Oh man, you have so much disrupted. You know, I might not even be able to to get them back because uh, I can only have six units there. Mm -hmm. So, so three, three will come back automatically. Yes, the one on the waiting. And then uh, we'll choose uh, the order. So these yep. will come back. And then only three of them. So yep. I will have to choose which one. And the others will be in the waiting yep. uh, if, they if they have yep. rallied. Well, I'm going to end my turn there. What a, a crazy, crazy, crazy turn. Double charge uh, turn that was. The knights came good. They really did. And it's over to you, sir. <laughs> With really <laughs> just this unit of sergeant at arms, the heavy sergeant at arms, left standing. With four orders. And you can only save three, so. Are they going to go on a one-man mission if to try and get they John Chandos? They don't have retaliation. On, John Ch on the knights? No, I do not. They do roll black dice in defense, which is pretty solid, so, but they yeah. don't. They can't hit you back. Charge. Oh, they have charge. Okay. I roll one dice. Oh, and when defending, uh, he cancels one push. Well, I think we have I more think we have pushes. Never, yeah. yeah, but we haven't, we haven't uh, taken this into yeah, account. Yeah, we need to remember that. Yep. Because maybe, you know, when I was pushed, maybe... Mm -hmm. You might you know, have only been one. Yeah. Maybe it would have been just one or maybe less. Yeah. But I forgot, and that's it yeah. to me. Uh, but they cancel. Yeah, they cancel one one push. It can it can be important. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have them attack your uh, your bowmen. Yeah. So moving one to here first. We, yeah, we'll yeah. move one to here. Yeah. Move one here and yeah. just attack. Okay. What are you rolling on attack? Red dice? Uh, just one red. Okay. I mean, to be honest with you, against bowmen with only their white dice, this this is not impossible to kill some bowmen no. here. So that's a, it's kill. a kill. And I roll a no. shield. Okay. So I, I got it covered. All right. Poof, thank goodness. And save two orders. I save my two orders. And now comes the important thing. Two dice. So I don't score any victory points. I score three, though, at the end of your turn. So you have three, and I have three. Now Because yes. I, I have three yes. units in there. Yeah, but we can see that the, the game has changed. Yep. <laughs> so it's it's only logical. Uh, so now let's rally. I will first No, do let's do... Oh, yeah, you can rally them. You can have those guys waiting. You yes. know, those chickens hiding in the woods. Yeah, you can have them back. So a unit of Mighty Knights, a unit of Halberdiers, and Bertrand with one wound come back. So who are you rolling for? Um... 
This is important because you've got to choose which ones that might come back. I will first start with the, okay. uh, the cavalry. So Leo's rally point, as my rally point as well, are both in areas with only six units available. So choosing which ones you try and roll for first could affect that. Oh, it's a cavalry. Oh, no! So I get two experience. Yes. And they, you lose two morale. I'll pop it into the, our little cemetery. Oh, <laughs> I'll beep that out later. <laughs> Family program, Leo. One, two, three. Yep. I have now three more. Um, Just roll six doom, six times. Heavy surgeon at arms. Yep. Don't think you need to see the dice guys to know what that is. That's another one. Experience? Just one. And another experience. one morale. Do you want to put it? I'll do it for you. you want to put yeah. it? Come on, come on, ten dice. Okay, so now um, you got one unit of normal bowmen. Four I units. Well, the normal, yeah. normal yeah. Uh, crossbowmen. Yeah. <gasps> another doom dice. <laughs> another experience. I mean, what's happening? Another it, morale. <laughs> I mean, come on. Good dice tire. It's one there's, chance out of six. I a, did three a in a row. Dice tire. Come on. There's two chances out of six, right? There's two death on it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah two death. One chance. Okay, another one. So we've got four Genosi crossbowmen. Here we go. Rallies. Oh, Instant that. rallies. Okay. Let's do it rapid fire. Three more to go. Come on, more death. More death. Oh. oh. <laughs> it was a rally. That is a rally. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. You know, yeah, <laughs> I'm you gonna could, have yeah. to rally all of them because they are just Dead. another die, another experience, yeah. another morale. See, so actually yep. they were killed by the, the arrows. Yep. Or by it. Yep, mama death. Yep. Well, feels that good. was a very, 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 very bad. Uh, I mean, come on, I have rolled one, two, three, four, five death. On my Two rules. rally, seven seven rules. Come on, five. That's brutal. That's not that's not feathering the odds. No, that is. But it. Good little dice. Good little dice. <sighs> I should maybe move it a little more. I don't know. Well, good little dice star. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Round four. We're on four. Let's do it. Two, Two. activation or That is, I'm not gonna lie, favorably timed for me. Now it yeah. would have been really good for you earlier. Now you're stuck far away. Yeah. With only well, you have four orders because you see if so actually oh you can still get back in. I've saved two, so yeah, we'll see. War council fears. Okay, one you can you can get three experience. You can change one for three experience or three myth. Uh, with an activation. With an activation, you could get two cards and uh, legend a, a legend and discard one card, okay. and finally a blue one. Interrupt for me every day of the week. Not even a close decision. That right now it's so important for this game. So I have three experience. I could level up uh, Bertrand du Guesclin. Oh, right. No, thank you. And he's my chance now to, to 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 do something. So the holy side during the camp phase rally one allied troop. I could have rallied with him. You know, level oh. up. That level up would have been incredible. So that's when he's at level two. And once per round, when he's activated, I gain one blue activation. That's what his holy, holy side. side. Oh, and that would have been amazing, holy Leo. the unholy side uh, is got uh, bodyguard ruthless, which means if I spend, uh, I think ruthless. I think it's if, it, if I spend a myth or sheet. a myth or a, a, a legend tokens. Your, uh, you can choose a disrupt to a kill. Yeah, a disrupt yeah. to a kill. Nice. Yeah. And when attacking, I gain one experience for each destroyed unit. I think the the holy side is interesting. Oh, that's so funny that I went unholy and you went holy. That's so crazy. Well, I'm French and you're English. Well, in stop, this game. Stop it. In this game. <laughs> in this game. Okay. <laughs> you going to level But I'm up? just kidding, of course. People know that. Uh, let me will you be let able me to do that? use yes. I will. Oh, trading an order is such a tough call. Though we know the last one should be a five. I think is that right? So I yes, think? I can. I could just make myself in the very last round. Yeah, this is what I could try. So, I think it, it allows me to level up. Yep. 
and pay for the upkeep mm -hmm. so i don't have to worry about this yep. now having an extra thing would mean five what could i do one two three four and five i could attack you but that means you haven't done anything or you're far but one oh yes now you can't attack me with those one two three four five you could you could attack me <laughs> you see, it's yeah, a different. It's, a, it's tough a tough decision. It's yep. a tough decision because on one side I have Bertrand becoming really strong, but only with one hit point. Mm -hmm. So no, I think I will take the. I, funny, I would be looking to see what defensive dice you roll. Can you get him upgraded to a couple of black defensive, for example? No. No, no. red, white, red, white. Oh. Red and white. So no, yeah. I. He's think pretty survivable as he is without the dice. Yes, just, yes, yeah. he's survivable. I will keep him like this. Yep. Okay. Well, of course, I would have. I could get uh, in his. I could get one cube every time. So next next time I would have it, but with only three activations, I can't do much. Yeah. Well, yeah. One, two. I could shoot with uh, at you with uh, with them. Yes. One, two. One, two, three. No, I could. I couldn't shoot. I would need a four. <laughs> so no. I'm sorry, guys. It's taking long no, because it's, okay. it's, it's an it's important. It's a big decision. Uh, yeah. It's a big decision. I will take the blue uh, activation. Yeah. A free activation that's also interrupted. Do you, think I, do you yes. think I I did the right? It's I must admit, um, I think the, the leveling up is so unfortunate because if you'd done it if you had done it a turn before and got yeah. that rally, yeah. God, that could have been so good. It would have changed uh, the game. The yeah, course you would, of you would the have game, had an extra unit for sure. Um, now you are going to win unless I can do a one final yeah. charge and think because for, you're yeah. very far from me now. Yeah, I really want to just maneuver in position and hold the points as best I can. Now I yes. kind of wish I had some sticks. So. Okay, so I'm going to get, because John Chandos is now level down, another legend card, please, because he, at the, during the Council of Fears, he's, um, ba he's back At down. the beginning? It says yeah. during, during the Council of Fears. Okay. You get one. So, uh, cool. I like that. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, so my first thing I'm going to do is actually activate... Actually, a quick question. When can I level John Chandos up? Any time on my turn? Any time on your turn. Yeah. So, I, so I'm going to spend Well, you need to activate him. I need him. to activate him. Okay. You need to activate him. You, um, can't, you can't level up without activating gotcha. your... Yeah. So, what so I, that means you could yeah. do it during my turn with yeah. the blue cube. Oh, I see. So yeah, so what I do is I'll activate him, which his area. So I will spend the, the two experience that I need to to level him up. And again, I'm going to go with the unholy side. So adjacent, <laughs> at the adjacent areas, he can activate three units. He will now. That's a good point you yeah. raise. You wouldn't be able to level up on the holy side. Yeah. Now. Once you've done it once, only way you can go. Yeah. Can go back. So I'm gonna give three of these units orders to pew pew into your sergeant at arms. Try and yeah. get him out of here. Hopefully. Um, oh, one disrupt, one shield that becomes a disrupt. And so he's push. disrupted. I don't need to. You've only got one dice in defense. Is that right? Oh. Or two. I have one dice. One. So yes, he's going to get disrupted. So, um, Then I'll use the actual um, order um, that I've given to John Chellos to simply have him move to here. Okay. My second order um, will be to give it to all of these guys. And they're basically going to... He won't uh, be able to shoot at me, here. right? Uh, not yet, but I'm going to position so I can do it. So I can put five units in here because the house counts as one. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to pop into here like so I'm going to keep my mounted knights I think where they are I don't think I want to go any further yep that's exactly where I'm stopping I'm not going to go any further than that and I'm just going to stop we're going to hold on to one re uh, interrupt and one normal order okay that's over to you sir Oh yeah, well, I could have interrupted. You know, you oh didn't sorry, ask, yeah, but I didn't think there'd be a new anything point. too much there. Yeah, no. One, two, three, four, five. I need five activations to to reach you, right? Mm -hmm. I think this is what I'm gonna do. So you go one, two. I three, I will do four. one, two, three, four, so five. Four. So well, four four would have you attacking, wouldn't it? Because you move one to one. here. Two no, to no, here, no, one to, to here. here. 
Oh, so yes, that's One, not a complete two, area. Three, four, yeah, five. Absolutely. Oh, that's so, tough. So yeah, I will do that. Yep. One. Mm -hmm. So they all move here. Oh no, not all. Well, they can. It's only, oh, it's only a normal size house, so they can all move in. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they can. Nice. Because it's just one mm -hmm. now. Okay, good. One, mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. no, no problem in this one. No. Full of space. Yeah. Oh, I just realized how good the bone setter's re rolls would have been. Oh, Two re rolls during yeah. the camp phase. Oh, she's just been sitting over here. Yeah, just, we, just we, we, we. Behind the tree. Yes. Okay, now I have to make a decision. Which four am I bringing? Yep. So, definitely the heavy hitters. And one of them here. Mm -hmm. And what does this one do? May I offer a suggestion? Yes, please. If you give him a movement to here, you could then have Bertrand use his one hex, oh, yeah. one unit order. You could potentially order them to here. And then on the following turn, you move again, you order them again, you capture the bone That's setter, and you potentially have re-rolls on the camp phase. Oh, I'm not going to say anything bad against uh, the English because this was a fair suggestion. So, here. So yeah, you, they would just move normally. Yes. And then they he would move normally, and then you give your one hex, one unit command to move them. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. And then again, you'll be able to do it. Yeah. After I interrupt you. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Okay, now, okay. The, the, the question yeah. is, do I absolutely fire four units of, of bowmen at this one, at this one unit of crossmen who are trying to make a dash for the bone setter, or do I fire or 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 all four units into here, knowing that I'm going up against a couple of black dice? Uh, oh, what I could also do. Instead yep. of rushing there, yep. I could do yeah, absolutely. this because yep. then if I'm here, yep. I can also attack you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sorry. If you want to do that instead, yeah. well, yeah. that makes my decision easier then because I was only going to shoot them if you got the bone setter. If you're not going for the bone setter, then my react, uh, my interrupt for this area to here is simple and straightforward. Um, so the first thing is I'm going to declare that all these guys are shooting, yeah, and that John Chandos is going to move to here. Yeah. So these guys will all shoot into here. So that's eight yellow dice. Uh, you, you will do that twice? John Chandos being unholy with his command. Okay. Yeah. So yes. <laughs> I think it's the end, guys. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so let's get these eight dice in. Oh, I'm going to... Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, one, yeah, yeah, one was marginally caught there. Yeah, yeah, um, it's okay. So we have a whole bunch of pushes, interestingly. Four pushes, three blanks, and one disrupt. Not the end of the world, actually. No. Um, so what's your defense? So one black for the Mountain Knight, mm -hmm. uh, one red for Bertrand. Yep. Uh, uh, for the Halberdiers, one red and one white. Mm -hmm. And finally, for the cross, no, uh, the Genoese crossbowman, yep. right? A black. a black. Really pretty good. Yeah, you could definitely, definitely handle I this. I could, yeah. Oh boy, um, one shield. Just one shield on oh, a red. Yeah, on a so red. it does block the disrupt, which means there are four pushes that have to go. Uh, do I have someone who cancels pushing? Uh, Sergeant at arms. Not in there, unfortunately. This guy yeah. is good. Okay. So I get to push you. Yeah. So this is pretty big. Every unit here is going to get pushed. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to push Bertrand back into the area that's already been activated. And I'm also going to send um, his unit of mounted knights back into there with them as well. And these guys, I'm going to actually, let's, let's send the crossbowmen back to there instead. And then let's or if you pushed me all of them here, I couldn't activate I them. I actually. Oh, yeah, but you don't I want them to. I want to slay. I've got blood yeah, sure, in my sure. mind. Because okay. what's now going to happen is John Chandos has finished his order. These guys have finished their order. He's now going to pass a command back. He's going to do. He can only command. So this is very three. strong, but you can only do this once. Because yep. now, if he had to move again. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, you, oh, yeah, you yeah, can move you here. Yeah. yeah, you can move here. It's the adjacent area thing that's difficult. I have to always keep them adjacent. Oh, yeah, so. adjacent area. You won't be able yeah. to do that anymore. Um, so this is my interrupt, so it's still your turn, but I've got six yellow dice to go in. One, yes, yeah. that's exactly right. You, you predicted where I wanted to go um, because I pushed them out of range. 
this is a more decimating role. There are three disrupts, a shield, which will become a disrupt, a push, and then a blank, which will just get. So do I even have to roll? Um, I don't think The mounted so. have a black dice and the halberdiers a, a red and a white. So if you roll three shields. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. It's very unlikely, but yeah, possible. it's tough. You just see a shield on the red you on know, the white. Some people could roll seven death on a row, right? No, no, definitely not. <laughs> so so double they are disrupted. Okay. And that is the end of my interrupt order. Okay. Mm. Good, John Jandals, you did well. Yep. Well, the only thing I can do now is try to, to get something here. Mm -hmm. So what I will do is use this one to move here yeah. and then attack here at least now where would you like to go to so these guys are rolling three blacks yeah. or these guys are rolling uh, four whites or you always shoot John Chandos right because it's one hex yes yeah what is his defense one black but he is on four wounds now because he's on holy charge <laughs> yeah he uh Becoming leveled up made him quite the tough, tough egg. Well, I'm going to to entrench them. Okay. So that means I gain a white dice. Mm -hmm. You never know. Yep. So they are entrenched. Yep. Now if they move, they die. If I push you. If you push wounds, me, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I sacrifice them, but I I know that they won't do anything. See if you more. can take something out. Yeah. yeah. So that's a red and a white. Yeah. Who are you shooting? I have to make this decision. So white, how many shields do you have? You have one chance out of three. One yeah. chance out of three. And I have so four of those to roll. You have four, so you will have one on average. Well, the, with this one, you will have one and a three half. Three black. Yeah, well, exactly right. So this one will defend a little less. Yes. But these would be... Costing me victory points. Yeah. This is your main... Uh, you yeah. guys here. So. Yes, they have been crucial, absolutely crucial. So, I will shoot at the, the bowman. Okay, let's see it. So a disrupt and... Two disrupts. Two disrupts. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'll four white in defense. Let's see if I can see something tasty here. Oh, another white dice. Yeah, Shoving in there. There we go. I rolled three disrupts and a blank. <laughs> So I'm two gonna of them are disrupted. Two yes. Men disrupted. Pop them over there for me. They go. No, it's just a moral victory. I mean, that's yeah, that is a moral victory though. Okay. I mean, they've been do they've done they good. have they yeah. have earned their dinner tonight okay. for sure. Um, that was your last order, right? That was my last order. So oh, yeah. Okay. Wrap up the order. So you you score three victory points. Yeah. Right? So I'm on six. You're on three. Yes. And we've got some crucial Doom Dice rolls here because we could potentially have the game ended on morale right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I only have four morale left, right? But we'll see what happens with the Doom yeah, thing. So you, you want to roll first? Yeah, sure. So first is my Bowman. So I'm going to get myself a return next turn, so which is they're done because there is there's not going to be. And then second is a rally immediately. Got quite oh, lucky that's there. better than me. So let's see what my cavalry does. Yeah. Two more morale under here. So the halberdiers. Yeah. Disrupted. So they stay here. Yeah. And uh, the heavy sergeant at arms. Heavy, well, sergeant at arms, uh, Gascon. Yep. They rally. rally. Okay. Okay. So what do you think? With you've got four units on the board, you're three points behind. Should we do round five? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You never know. Let's it, flip. When this last one is five, you see? Oh, so yeah. I forgot. Yeah. Well, I didn't forget. I just wasn't sure if it was five coming. Five activations. You're probably, yeah, you have yeah. probably won. I think. But yeah. let's see how it ends, yep. right? Absolutely. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. So these will 
count towards mor negatively to morale. Okay. Because the neither are going to come yes. back, right? Yep. Yes, yes. Um, so more council cards for the start of round five. So I reactivate. Oh. oh, I love a reactivate with Bowman. You can trade a normal activation for a reactivate and interrupt, or uh, is that experience for legend tokens? Yes, yeah. that's it. And three, three legend tokens. Um, oh, I'm taking a reactivate, please. And now we'll do the same. Okay, let's see. I just need to tidy all this up, make this nice and neat. So, um, I've got to do there. Can't charge, unfortunately, but. So, I'm going to activate uh, John. Mm -hmm. He's going to tell. Uh, these two units of bowmen to make an attack into here. So four, give the dim dice back. Which is not as much. Yeah, definitely four. a bit weaker feeling now. One push and three blanks. So roll a black dice in for them and see if they can resist the push. A black dice and yeah. a white dice. Oh yes, because you're in. Oh, but the, that means the push would be fatal. Yeah. Oh boy. Yes, you got the shield. The shield. For a moment they there, resist. for a moment there, I thought um, John will then move in. <laughs> nice simple. No interrupt on your side, so I'll just keep heading through. So I'm then going to activate here. Um, I'm going to declare that John's going to move, and these guys are going to fire. Yeah. So again, we're going to try take out this pesky unit of crossbowmen. That's two disrupts this time. Against two disrupts and retaliation, so that's done. Oh and wait, now at the end of my turn, yep. I lose my two things, so I think that's your won. threshold. Very good game, sir. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> goodness, what a, what an amazing battle that was! Though. It was great. It was great. I was, uh, I thought I'll move forward, I'll get into range, yes. and I just didn't have enough activation cubes to do anything. And then when you sweep round in, I thought he's going to just wipe me out. And then I thought, actually, the objective play from you was fantastic. You had a big clump of units. You then moved them back and held it well. It was really the combination of strong command, leveling up John Channels, and then that cavalry attack that had to split you. If you had had the crossbowman even a, a hex closer, the whole game could have been so different. Oh, totally. And if I was a little more lucky on, on, the, on the doom dice, <laughs> I could have br come come yep. back because you see with four hexes Absolutely. i could attack you here and then yep. we got you we got know. to see breakthrough with the legend yeah. card giving that extra attack yeah. which is like a free activation for the, the the cavalry that was amazing the priest even did a little bit for me he soaked up a wound which yeah. was important because i didn't lose some of my bowmen which was like if i'd lost the bowmen instead of instead of him that would have been really yeah. bad i also got a free legend token out of it which helped me be able to spend it for the card so yeah a lot of different things happened the war council cards were really interesting the round cards were as well if that five had come up uh, in the middle of your defensive turn, oh, it could have yeah. been very bad for oh, you. Yeah. But the two coming up whenever you were far away was really good for me. Yeah. It was a really interesting. Yes, because a lot of movement happened. Yep. A lot of things happened. It told the story, you know. And uh, this is, it was just a skirmish battle, but you can already see, you know, yep. it's not a scenario. Uh, the scenario is written by uh, the battle mode, it. and it really tells a story. That was great. Awesome. But I'll have revenge. Uh, <laughs> I'm, next time, I'm sure you will. Next time we will play. Um, Let's not say anything. We'll play. We'll definitely play some more battles. We're not okay. going to give anything away just yet. Um, so look, if you want to check this out, depending on when you're watching this, head over to www.mythicgames.net. So if you're a backer of Joan of Arc, or if you, you've got it in the future, over there you'll find the battle mode rules with the army list, and we'll be updating those regularly. So you'll see that the points will tweak. They'll probably be different by the time you guys see this from what we have now. You'll be people sharing army lists. Over there on the likes of Facebook and BGG as well. So we hope you really enjoyed this. Leave your comments below. Let us know what you think as we continue to involve this um, extra fun part of Joan of Arc. Cool. Thank you so much. We shall see you soon.